Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Todd Macover, and it's a real pleasure to be able to present to you a special uh, musical piece that we've created just for this closing event of the World Economic Forum. And music is one of the most powerful media that we have to connect people and to build collaboration. Uh, music does this by teaching us how to listen. Of course, teaching us how to listen to the music itself, but also how to listen to each other and how to listen to the world around us. With my colleagues at the MIT Media Lab, we've been experimenting with a pretty bold way of encouraging this kind of collaboration through music and through listening. We're working on a project called City Symphonies, and the idea is that we go into a city to make a sonic portrait of that city, its past, its present, and its future. And we do that with music, as you normally think of it, but we also do it by listening to the sounds of that city, the man-made sounds and the natural sounds. And the final turn is that we invite everybody who lives in the city to work with me and my team to create the piece together. So it's a true collaboration to make a symphony in a way that I don't think existed before. And we ask people to go out and listen and record the city, to send us the sounds they like best, the sounds they don't like, personal sounds, sounds that identify the city, we write special software at MIT so that anybody can create their own original music and send it in. We create numerous contexts, both online and in person, so that we can improvise, share, sing together, experiment with this music that, that can become part of the piece. And then we invite everybody to be part of the process of deciding what the narrative, what the story is of that particular place at this moment that everybody can share. And what we've done for today uh, is to create a special version, a glimpse of these symphonies and uh, how this process works and how all of these symphonies together might give a sense of the world connecting. So, so far we've worked on five of them. Uh, Toronto, Canada, Edinburgh, Scotland, Perth, Australia, those have already been premiered. Lucerne, Switzerland, which we're working on right now, and will be premiered at the Lucerne Festival at the end of this summer, and uh, Detroit in the US, uh, which is a very different experience from the others, but really, really, really interesting. So we've woven those together and added some extra spice today to give a sense of the city symphonies, but also to give a sense at this closing event of a kind of ideal feeling of what it's like when people are connected and collaborating with each other, also with the city around them, and the man-made world, and the physical world, what it would sound like when those things are in balance. So this special piece is called A Symphony for Our Times. You're hearing it for the first time. Uh, we worked with the Artisan Group in London to make the quite extraordinary images that you're going to see. And I'd like now to introduce Anita Schaufelberger, who's the brilliant pianist who'll be interpreting and augmenting and connecting the sounds of the world on the piano. So we really hope you enjoy this first time through a symphony for our times. Thank you. Okay. I go to the science, 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 science,
Anita Todd, thank you so much. And Artisan for taking us on a journey and, and letting us close with this experience. And I just, uh, before I formally close, I'd like to, uh, again, just reflect on those two words, journey and experience. And it was wonderful. A wonderful journey and really the, the best experience really to, to, to bring us all together in the close of the annual meeting. So thank you very much. Thank you. Sit with me. Um, before I, on behalf of the managing board and our executive chairman, Professor Klaus Schaub, close this annual meeting, I'd like to, uh, if I may, just have a few, your attention for a few moments to reflect on just two things before you deservedly go back and connect with your families, your communities, and your organizations. Um, we began on this stage on Tuesday, um, Professor Schwab, you, you mentioned that our motto, not necessarily the theme, but our motto for this annual meeting should be sharing and caring. And so I'd ask all of you, when you go back, to share, share your insights, share your, your emotions, your enthusiasm, your concerns with everyone. And clearly continue to care, care, care about the issues, the friends you've made, uh, the things you're going to do about. Share and care, sharing and caring. Because that's also, those of us, the teams, my colleagues, we also share and care very much for you for being a part of this, so thank you. And before I formally close, we have, I just, more a moment. Um, I also want to dedicate the, this annual meeting to a colleague and a friend who very much was all about sharing and caring, and uh, that's our friend and colleague, Tia Chiesa, who I want to dedicate this annual meeting to her and, and her sharing and caring. And with that, again, Thank you again for this journey, this experience. Go back, share, and care. And with that, I'd like to formally conclude this 45th annual meeting of the World Economic Forum. Thank you very much.